Um, my implant has uh, like a Bluetooth connection to the computer. And then through that, Neuralink has created an app that they have uh, uploaded to the computer. And through that app, I can interface with the, um, with the computer. Neuralink has just made a breakthrough that could merge human brains with quantum technology, signaling the dawn of a new era for intelligence, memory, and possibly even human evolution. But what does this breakthrough really mean for the future? And could it be more dangerous than we realize? Keep watching to find out. Neuralink, the brain-computer interface company founded by Elon Musk, just took a monumental step forward. In early 2024, they successfully implanted their first brain chips in human subjects, enabling people to control devices with their thoughts alone. And while that's already incredible, quantum computing is advancing faster than ever, promising to revolutionize processing power. Now, researchers are asking, what if future brain implants could tap into quantum technology? The possibilities are mind-blowing, but so are the risks. Let's dive into what this could mean for the future of humanity. Neuralink's recent human trials are nothing short of groundbreaking. The coin-sized implant, packed with over a thousand tiny electrodes, has already allowed paralyzed individuals like Nolan Arbaugh to move a computer cursor just by thinking. This milestone builds on years of animal testing, such as the famous demo, where a pig's brain signals were decoded in real time. Meanwhile, quantum computing is taking giant strides. IBM, Google, and others are developing processors that solve problems traditional computers can't even dream of. So, what happens when these two technologies combine? Imagine a future where brain interfaces don't just control basic devices, but help you solve problems in real time with the power of quantum computing. Quantum computers operate on qubits, which can exist in multiple states at once allowing them to solve specific complex problems at speeds classical computers can't match. What if a future brain implant could process information faster than your brain can? The implications are staggering, but we're not there yet. Even with quantum breakthroughs, turning this into a viable brain interface is still a massive technological leap. Do you think it's possible? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's talk about what this next-gen brain interface could really do. First up, speed. Quantum computing's ability to process vast amounts of data at once could take your brain to a whole new level. Imagine instantly accessing vast databases of knowledge, speeding up research, creativity, or even decision-making. While the idea of downloading new skills might seem like sci-fi, AI-powered feedback loops could make accelerated learning a reality. Could this supercharge your memory and abilities in ways we can't even predict? Then there's problem solving. Today's A, I tackle some of our toughest challenges, but it's still limited by traditional computing. A quantum powered brain interface linked with AI could assist with complex problems in fields like medicine or climate science. Picture a world where research teams directly collaborate with your brain to model new treatments or predict climate patterns with unprecedented accuracy. It's closer than you think, but that's not all. Think about memory. Right now, Neuralink can record brain activity, but efficient storage remains an obstacle. What if quantum-inspired systems or advanced AI algorithms could boost this capacity? Imagine being able to recall every book you've ever read or skill you've learned instantly. But would you even want that level of access to your own brain? That's another big question we need to answer. And then, what if we could go beyond machines and connect directly with other humans? Some researchers believe that brain implants could allow direct thought sharing, removing language barriers and even misunderstandings. While telepathy is still a distant dream, advanced AI-driven brain networks might one day enable real-time, non-verbal communication. Imagine a collective intelligence where minds share knowledge instantly. But with this incredible potential come serious concerns. How would we ensure privacy? Who controls the network? and how do we stop abuse? It's a fascinating but frightening possibility. Of course, there are major risks involved. The first, privacy. If your thoughts can be digitized, they're vulnerable to hackers. Cybersecurity challenges today are nothing compared to what we'd face with a breach in our brain data. Can we really safeguard our most private thoughts and emotions from malicious forces? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And then there's the issue of control. 
Who owns this technology? Private companies, governments? Could they manipulate our decisions subtly through implanted interfaces? The ethical questions are already piling up. Plus, access to these advancements could deepen societal divides, with only the wealthy benefiting from enhanced intelligence and cognitive abilities. But here's the biggest question of all. What happens when A, I meets the human brain? As Elon Musk has warned, there's a real risk that AI could surpass human intelligence. If future brain interfaces enhance our cognition, might they accelerate AI's evolution to a point where we can't control it? It's a terrifying but necessary question to consider. Neuralink is already changing the way we interact with technology, and as human trials continue, brain-computer interfaces are becoming a reality. The fusion of AI and neural implants could be just around the corner. While true quantum-powered brain interfaces are still theoretical, the pace of technological progress suggests these futuristic ideas might arrive sooner than we think. But what happens when these brain interfaces go beyond just controlling devices? Could they eventually tap into the power of quantum computing to supercharge our minds? Neuralink's implant, a small coin-sized device embedded with over a thousand ultra-thin electrodes, works by detecting the brain's electrical signals, which represent neural activity. These signals are sent to the implant, which then communicates with external devices, allowing the brain to control machines or prosthetic limbs directly. The electrodes, thinner than a human hair, are inserted into the brain using a highly specialized robot designed for precision. This robot ensures minimal damage to surrounding tissue and performs the procedure faster and more accurately than a human surgeon. Once implanted, the system picks up electrical activity from the brain and decodes it using advanced algorithms. This decoding process allows for bi-directional communication. While the brain can control devices, the system can also send sensory feedback back to the brain, such as touch or movement sensations, creating a more immersive interaction with controlled devices. The medical implications of Neuralink are vast. It holds the potential to help paralyzed individuals regain control over prosthetics, or even regain partial movement through brain stimulation. Neuralink could also be used to treat neurodegenerative diseases like epilepsy and Parkinson's disease by stimulating specific areas of the brain to restore lost functions. In the future, the interface could help enhance human cognition allowing faster learning and the ability to process complex information beyond what's possible with today's technology. Beyond medicine, the future of Neuralink could involve the fusion of brain-machine interfaces with quantum computing and artificial intelligence. This combination could lead to superhuman problem-solving abilities, enhanced memory storage, and real-time access to vast knowledge bases. In a more speculative future, Neural implants might enable brain-to-brain -brain communication, eliminating language barriers, and allowing for direct sharing of thoughts. This could create a collective intelligence network where knowledge and ideas are exchanged instantly, transforming how we collaborate and communicate. However, these advancements bring significant challenges. Privacy concerns are at the forefront, as the data decoded from the brain could be hacked, leading to the potential misuse of personal thoughts and emotions. There's also the issue of control, who owns the data, and how could it be used by corporations or governments. Additionally, as the interface between AI and the human brain evolves, there is growing concern that AI could surpass human intelligence, presenting risks to our control over technology. Despite these hurdles, Neuralink's progress toward merging human brains with machines is moving rapidly, promising a future where human cognition and technology are seamlessly integrated. The potential benefits are immense, but so are the risks, making this a critical area of both scientific exploration and ethical debate. But what if the impact of Neuralink goes beyond just healing and restoration? What if it could redefine the very limits of human potential, unlocking cognitive abilities we've only dreamed of? Neuralink's potential extends far beyond medical use. It could revolutionize the everyday human experience in ways we can't yet fully comprehend. Imagine a world where the boundaries of human cognitive abilities are no longer restricted by our natural brain capacity. With the integration of Neuralink technology, your daily life could be fundamentally altered in profound and transformative ways. First and foremost, one of the most immediate applications could be in the realm of learning and education. 
If the technology allows for near instantaneous data retrieval and memory enhancement, you could learn new skills and information at a pace that was once unimaginable. Students could potentially download entire textbooks or scientific papers directly into their minds, making the process of learning more efficient and tailored to individual needs. Imagine having access to any piece of information you need, right when you need it, without the need for traditional searching or memorization. The ability to quickly acquire new languages, complex theories, or even technical skills might completely transform the educational landscape. Not only could people accelerate their learning process, but they could also retain this information far longer, which would significantly enhance both personal growth and professional development. In the professional world, these enhanced cognitive abilities could allow individuals to multitask more effectively, solve complex problems with greater speed, and interact with machines and data in ways previously confined to science fiction. For instance, professionals in fields such as medicine, engineering, and research could have the ability to access vast medical databases, research papers, or real-time simulations directly in their minds while conducting surgeries, experiments, or architectural designs. This would empower them to make faster, more informed decisions, potentially saving lives or creating groundbreaking innovations. Additionally, AI-powered assistance linked directly to the brain could help professionals by offering real-time insights, predicting outcomes, or even recommending solutions based on vast data sets that would otherwise be overwhelming. Moreover, memory augmentation could become a game changer for individuals with busy or stressful lifestyles. People would no longer have to rely on external devices like smartphones or notebooks to store information. Instead, they could effortlessly recall any fact, personal detail, or experience whenever needed. Imagine walking into a meeting and instantly remembering every relevant detail about the topic at hand. Who said what, the key points discussed, and even related experiences from your own life, all without looking at your notes. For individuals with memory loss or cognitive impairments, this could be life-changing, allowing them to retain and recall memories with precision, providing a higher quality of life and enhanced mental autonomy. Furthermore, the interaction between humans and machines could reach a new level. With the ability to control devices directly through thought, Neuralink users could engage with technology seamlessly and without the need for traditional interfaces like touchscreens or keyboards. Imagine controlling your smart home, adjusting your thermostat, or opening apps on your phone with just a thought. Even more advanced possibilities could include controlling robotic arms, drones, or other machinery with incredible precision, allowing for a wide range of applications from factory work to space exploration. This could pave the way for individuals with disabilities or limited mobility to interact with the world around them in entirely new ways, breaking down physical barriers to participation in various activities. Social interactions would also see a significant transformation. While direct brain-to-brain -brain communication is still a distant prospect, enhanced mental connectivity through Neuralink could lead to more meaningful and efficient exchanges. People might be able to share ideas or concepts instantly bypassing the need for language entirely. This form of communication could eliminate misunderstandings or delays associated with language barriers, allowing for faster collaboration and more profound interpersonal connections. In professional environments, teams could brainstorm and collaborate in real time by sharing their ideas directly through their brain interfaces, significantly boosting productivity and creativity. In the realm of personal well-being and cognitive health, Neuralink could have far-reaching implications as well. By stimulating certain areas of the brain, it could help alleviate symptoms of mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, or PTSD. Instead of relying solely on medication or therapy, individuals could use targeted brain stimulation to achieve balance in their emotions and mental states. Additionally, the ability to enhance cognitive functions could delay or even prevent age-related cognitive decline. Imagine being able to maintain sharp cognitive abilities well into old age, accessing memories and information with the same efficiency as you did in your youth. This could drastically improve the quality of life for elderly individuals and create new opportunities for lifelong learning and engagement. While all of these possibilities might sound like a futuristic dream, they could become an everyday reality sooner than we expect. As Neuralink continues to develop and refine its brain-computer interface, 
the applications of this technology could eventually reach every corner of society, from the way we work, learn, and interact with technology, to how we think, remember, and communicate with one another. These advances might pave the way for a new era of human experience where the limits of our minds are constantly expanding, unlocking new realms of possibility and personal achievement. However, this transformation will also come with its own set of challenges as society must find ways to address the ethical and privacy concerns that accompany such profound changes. What do you think? Will brain interfaces make us superhuman? Or are the risks too great? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more groundbreaking updates on AI, Neuralink, and the future of human evolution. Trust me, the next breakthroughs are going to change everything.